Esports continues to be a very ruthless space to be a part of. We have talked a lot about Toast in the channel, hopefully will in the future, but that future is certainly up in the air as they have now officially, that being DSG, Toast, and his Valorant roster, been relegated from Valorant Challengers. After what some might say a very disappointing season and uh, full of ups and downs, but certainly a lot of lost games and a lot of downs, well, it was most recently, and they have officially been relegated. We'll have to re-qualify for challengers after a strenuous and expensive venture for a creator to take on in the first place. It was it was really sad to watch. And you could tell the whole time he was live with Tarek that it was a very, it was a bit awkward, right? I mean, you, you got a creator who obviously loves his team and one of the worst things that could happen happening live, which albeit was always a possibility, but here it is. He's low, he's low. No. Defenders in the dream for disguised is over. Um, overall, but I saw a sign. But it didn't end the way hope, but I'm still very, very proud of what these players did in one year. From zero esports team to one esports team. Maybe now back to zero esports team. Yeah, I, I feel like it's been a journey to say the least. Right? It's been a ride. It's, it's been Diesel, let's say. It's all about family. I feel like these guys uh, made a footprint in DSG history no matter what. We made history, all right. We definitely made history. We definitely I know it's, made history. I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but you did definitely make history. There's no Valorant ending for the next six months. So. There's no Valorant regardless of the next six months, and who knows what happens in the new year. Yeah. So I feel like never say never. But League of Legends is... Uh, the League of Legends is here. League of Legends is the next scope. I know I meme it a lot, but... That'd We're be really be hype. playing the first games of this entire uh, North American season because there's no LCS. So our games are going to be the first one. So you're hosting an event or what is that? Is it like a show match? Again? No, we're, at, we're competing in the, the tier two. League. What's your team? DSG. DSG. Is the, well, who's the players though? Is it announced? Well, do you know any league players? I do. Who do you, who do you know? Skara. It was a wild ride. It was and a wild I thank ride. Everyone who supported us. I had a lot of fun. I, I truly did enjoy my time here. Yeah, salute. You guys in league. That's it? Yeah. There's, there's not nothing left. That's it? There's nothing left for me in this space. You'll have to excuse me. I have some emails and letters to send. Uh, wait, what do you mean by emails and letters? Where is he? Uh, he's he's uh, that for the players or that? And you hear him say, you know, from zero esports teams to one esports team, maybe back down to zero, which albeit I, I'm not sure that makes too much sense because uh, he still has a League of Legends roster apparently coming, or we thought he had one one signed. So maybe from one to two, back down to one. It, it, either way, clearly trying to bait whether or not he's going to be sticking it out in the Valorant season. If you guys do not follow Valorant with Valorant Challengers and this relegation period for DSG, uh, well, for all these teams, a six-month period where pretty much no Valorant is going to be played at this level a lot of people thinking this could be detrimental to the space. That is a lot of quiet time. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know if I know of any other esports that have that much downtime. To give you a, a reference, and this might be overkill, CSGO, every time, uh, I think it's uh, sometime in the summer every year or, or later in the summer, they have like a few week break. And then they get up and go again. And the off season for you know uh, League of Legends, typically pretty short as well. And of course you're filled with roster shuffles during that period of time, but six months, that's a long time. As DSG stated, this marks the end of our Valorant season as we are dropped from challengers next year. Sorry to all the fans and thank you for supporting DSG throughout these times. And then Ye, surprisingly tweeting, I've never been so depressed, I think, in my entire life. The mistakes that are happening on this team are things in which I'm 99% sure ranked players could do better, and it's actually pathetic that we are salaried professionals. I'm donating my last paycheck to charity since I don't deserve it. And, and that was a pretty strong statement. I mean, that's if you feel bad for the guy and certainly going from being the top player in the world down to challengers after some scuffles, uh, and, and now with meta changes and, and this happening, it's got to be tough to go through, certainly. Exalt saying, since coming back to this team, we've lost six best of threes. I don't really know what to say other than we had to be better. I am genuinely disappointed in myself that I couldn't have done better. We'll utilize this offseason to improve in any way that I can. 
So yeah, tough feelings all around. I couldn't help but think though, if you guys watch the Vava Tark, they, and of course the moments that Toast has, I never know what is real and what is bait slash sarcasm. I, I have a weird feeling that he's not done in Valorant. All of this around the same time where he has leaked his supposed uh, salaries and spendings and finances throughout this year of 2023, where at the end of this year, he'll have spent $1 million and lost a million dollars in all of this, which is quite insane. And it makes you wonder, okay, I don't think he's only spending that in League of Legends unless he's paying these players all the way through the off season, which would be insane, but I guess that might be possible. Maybe if he wants to clarify that, but I got a weird feeling that it's not the last time we're gonna see Toast in Valorant, just like him saying the sign off and everything. It seemed, I mean, that wouldn't be the way you say goodbye, right? Surely not. What do you guys think? Is this guy's Toast gonna leave Valorant and only stick it out in League of Legends? Or is he done in the eSport entirely? Till next time, take care, see ya.